Good morning, happy Sunday and welcome to episode 91 and today I'm showcasing again the Whimsy and Wonder DSP. It's so beautiful and I'm a little short of Christmas cards and this is a, a good way to make cards um, swiftly. I have a goal to have all my Christmas cards made by Thanksgiving. Of course, I may change that to be they're all made by the end of the Thanksgiving holiday. That would give me a few extra days and I, I haven't actually counted yet, but I know I'm short. So um, this is a way to make a few more quickly using the paper. Um, what else do I need to remind you of? If you place, when, sorry, when you place an order with me of $25, I will send you the pieces you need to make the cards. So this is like a mini class, okay? Um, also, if any of you are not demonstrators, there's a fabulous offer that goes on until the end of November, which is coming up here, and you can get the regular, um, select $125 of stuff of your choice and instead of paying 99 bucks as usual you pay 75 it's a fantastic offer it's always a good offer but right now it's it's really really good so um just to, wanted to remind you about that so i'm gonna turn you down so that we can do the raffle for last week and if you want to be in next week's raffle just share my video and i'll put you in it it's that simple okay right um, I'm gonna move you down now. Actually, I'll point you that way first so you don't end up being blinded by my lights, which aren't really needed today, I don't think, because it is quite sunny. Maybe a little further. Why are you being so stiff today? Well, that should work. Right, so, oh, let me change my glasses so that I can hopefully see what I'm doing. It's a bit, um, I've got lights on, but it seems very dull. Don't know why. Anyway, uh, last week I had five people shared, Barbara, Linda, Mia, Kathy, and Kim. So let's see who wins. One, two, it's Kim again. I think she's won the last three weeks, actually. Something like that. Right. She's obviously got the lucky... I don't know. I think she should buy... Kim, if you're li when you listen, I think you should go and buy a lottery ticket. You seem to be very lucky at the moment. So, let me show you what we're going to make today. So, here's one. And I have a question for you on this one. When I was making this card originally, I was gonna use this. Can you even see? Can you see? Can you let me know? It seems so dark. Um, I was gonna use this as a sentiment. But then I thought, I don't know. Is it this or that? So I thought I would ask you right now whether you like the stitched rectangle or the scallop matted circle. So let's see what we what we think. So, just put that over there. So this is the first one. Here is the second one. I love this paper so much I had to use it again but this is one I haven't used and same with this one I haven't used this one either so okay looks like I made the right decision in the first place with the circle so we'll go with the circle thanks very much so move that out of the way uh, let's pull out our pieces and oh I should tell you um, because I'm doing DSP obviously there are no sentiments so um, I'm using the Merry Christmas from Evergreen Elegance because it, 
it really is. It's an elegant font, right? Or typeface, I should say. And my others, my other favorite is the Stars Are Shining because it has lots of sentiments. So I'm using, what am I using? The Stars Are Shining Brightly and Joy To The World. So just so you know where they came from. In case you are also short of Christmas cards and need to get going on some. So let's start with this. Got my Whisper White. Yes, I still have Whisper White, as I'm sure some of you do. It's, uh, as I think I've mentioned before, I always felt that if I ran out of white or vanilla cardstock, then I c it would be much harder to, um, to card. So I made sure that I had a decent stock. Rather more decent than I realised. Um, so when we discontinued Whisper White, uh, I still have quite a lot of it <laughs> and probably will for a while. I do have basic white too, but I haven't used it yet. I figured I'd use this first. So this is Mint Macaron. And let's just position this. That's not quite right, is it? Here's your tip of the day. You can uh, huff on it a bit and it will help you to unstick it a bit. That's not perfect, but it'll do. I now have glue on my fingers. So I've already got grubby already. <laughs> Doesn't take long, does it? So uh, now we're gonna glue this piece onto the card base. See if we can get it a bit more even. There we are. And oh, now we need to do the sentiment, which is going to be done in mint macaron because everything else is mint macaron. So here we are. One good thing about stamping on a circle is it doesn't have to be straight because you can just turn the circle a bit. <laughs> yeah. So let's put this on its scalloped mat. Pop it up with dimensionals. Oh, yeah. So I'll just just have it on the edge, I think. So I don't want it to be wonky. So I'm going to just have this this get butt up. There we go. And then we had a few of the um, basic rhinestones. Which I think were actually the little ones. So I'm going to put that one there. That one there, and then I can position that one in the middle more easily than going one, two, three. I don't know why, but it's much easier to get them straight. So, that is the first card. So I'll put that over there and remind you what the second card is. This is the second card. And oh, not of course, not only am I using the sentiment from Evergreen Elegant, I've also got the tree. 
forgot, sorry, forgot to tell you where that came from. Although you probably guessed. Let me put this away before I stick my fingers in it. Put it back there and I'll get out Mossy Meadow. I really love this colour. I was so glad when it came back. So it needs to go about mm, there, I'd say. So let's stamp the sentiment. not wobble. Excellent. And while we're doing stamping, let's do the tree. Take my weight away. I find these little A blocks invaluable for holding things down but not really getting too much in the way. There we are. Put this one away as well. Oh, yeah. There we go. It had to happen, didn't it? Her Winnie will be laughing. Right, so let's put this on a mossy meadow mat. As you can see, these are all pretty fast. So if you're really behind and you need to whip up 10 of them, it's, it's not too bad. You can have a nice afternoon just making as many cards as you need, actually, if you go simple. And you can always tart them up a bit with uh, jewels and so on. So now let's put the strip of whimsy and wonder it's this is what it's got on the other side so very sparkly and christmasy but uh as i said i'm very fond of mossy meadow so i thought i'd do a um monochromatic card if it, if it can be monochromatic if it's two colors seeing as white is a color really okay hold it down again as I said, invaluable. So I think about there makes sense. Yep. And then I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals as well. Sadly, I'm pretty much out of ends, edges. I do like the edges. It just feels more efficient somehow if you've got something that needs well uh, more popping up. As you know, I don't like it to sag. So um, think about there. So we'll just peel off some of these. Don't need all of them to hold this on, obviously. So it's just to stop it from sagging in the middle. And there we go. Card number two made. It's only quarter past and I did wish her away at the beginning. So it's not bad at all. And then finally, we're gonna do some heat embossing because it's Christmas. Well, it's not Christmas. It's Christmas cards, and I seem to do a lot of heat embossing for Christmas cards. So this is this piece of DSP is so beautiful. I I can't believe I hadn't used it previously, but I had not. So let me bring these in. I got two just in case. You never know with uh, heat embossing. Move that out of the way. Let's. I'll turn that down so it doesn't blind you. I also love this side. It's a big wrench. Yeah, hiding this is, uh, is, is painful, but 
I do have two sheets, don't I? So. Seems to be a bit of a wonk today. Oh well. Not much I can do about that now. So we'll just move on. I'm going to put this on a Blushing Bride card stock and get some decent frame around it with the Blushing Bride with this these measurements. So now all we have to do is, where's my pig? Oh, here it is. This is a bit small, so let's do this joy to the world. Now I want to put it towards the top. So I'm purposely putting it at the top, okay? So hopefully you're not panicking and saying, oh my goodness, what are you doing? Well, you might be because that didn't stamp very well. So luckily I have a spare. Because <laughs> these things happen, don't they? And you can't really tell when you've got this inked up properly. Because it's invisible. So, let's try that again. Much better. So, let's sprinkle on some silver embossing powder. Grab my peg and then I'm gonna heat emboss it so be careful with your volume if you've got it up a lot Oh, I love that so much. I remember hearing Shelley say that she loved heat embossing and well, she everyone knows she loves it, but she said she used to use the um, an electric ring um, when she did home parties and uh, was a bit taken aback when she went into the kitchen to do the heat embossing and discovered they had gas. I'm not actually sure how she, I, if she told us how she got around it, but it was must have been a heck of a shock. <laughs> uh, much easier with our heat tool. Mine gets a lot of use around Christmas. Okay, take a few of these off and we can put it onto the card. Um, there we go and it's going to have some of the big ones. Like so. So, amazingly, even with talking and uh, wittering at the beginning and reminding you of things, we've made three cards and it, this video is only 20 minutes. So, 
that tells you that if you focused, and this is a two inch wide piece, so you could cut five and a half off the DSP, split it into two inch pieces, and you could have a kind of a production line going, and you could make quite a few of these cards quite quickly so yeah isn't it great Barbara I love watching the magic as it goes too yeah so I hope you enjoyed this and that if you are in fact short of cards this will help to um, help you catch up okay so thank you so much for watching don't forget to share and I'll get you in the raffle for next week and um, I'll see you then. And have a great rest of the day. Thanks. Bye.